getting the word out, more SEO and promo. Okay, now that you have some topics written, it's time to get the word out. In our free traffic module, we discuss different ways to drive in traffic to your blog, but let's go over a few blog-specific tactics here. Guest blogging. Let's talk about guest blogging, but not in the sense that you're going to go to someone's blog and write some informative piece that rocks their audience and brings them wallet in hand over to your party. No, you're going to get more experienced bloggers to instead blog on your blog. How? Very simple. You're going to bribe them. $100 still goes a long way in this world. And let me tell you why you want them to blog on your site. Traffic. Included in that 100 bucks, you need to include a stipulation, that's requirement for the non-attorney folks, that says they need to send out an email to their subscribers and make two social posts stating that they just wrote something on yourblog.com and they should go check it out. A link from their blog to the content they wrote on your blog will also give you some high-powered link juice. What that means for you is endorsed traffic. What that means is more subscribers, increased credibility, and a higher level of trust with your readers. Interlinking. Within your blog post, it's also important to link to other related posts, helping the user discover other content, pulling them deeper and deeper into the depths of your blog. This does two things. First, it gives your reader a richer experience, and second, it lowers your bounce rate and increases engagement, two things that Google just happens to love. Once you get a visitor from Google, you now own those eyeballs. Do whatever you can not to give them back. Ask yourself, what would it take for me to stay on this site forever? Your goal is for your user to leave your site open at night because they still haven't finished with your addictive rants. All right, so let's talk about content linking. Are you linkable? Is your content worth linking to? People love to share what they have found on the Internet. It makes them look cool and better read than their competitors, I mean friends. Give people something to link to. Find interesting photos and then relate them to your niche. Talk about something that happened in your life and then relate it to your industry. Infographics are a huge seller right now. An infographic tells a story or relays information through use of pictures with informative data included. This infographic shows the reinvention of small business. Several sites offer infographics. Google around a bit or you can start with these links. Fiverr.com, infographics starting at 5 bucks. Cheapinfographic.com, infographics starting at 500 bucks. 99designs.com, infographics starting at 299 bucks. Then the last thing we're going to talk about in promoting here is social sharing your blog. Part of getting the word out is being present on social media. Included with your default installation of WordPress is the social media feather plugin. This plugin allows you to do much more than just add a few buttons. It also allows you to add your Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, LinkedIn, RSS, YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr, and Foursquare profiles so people can follow you in several different directions outside of your blog as well. Social media is a patience game, but you have to do it if you're promoting your business online. In our social media module, I cover the measuring of an effective social media campaign. But it's also important to remember there are benefits that cannot be measured in the social media arena as well. So that's it for this section on getting the word out. Please feel free to implement any of these strategies right now or feel free to join me in the next video.